The Maxi, or the National Museum of 21st Century Art, is a modern and innovative building in Rome, Italy. Designed by the famous Iraqi British architect Zaha Hadid, the museum is a stunning example of contemporary architecture that has become an iconic landmark in the city. The Maxi is located in the Flaminio district of Rome and was completed in 2009. It was founded by the Italian Ministry of Cultural Heritage and Activities as a space dedicated to contemporary art, architecture, and design. The museum's design is characterized by its fluid and dynamic lines, which invoke a sense of movement and continuity. The building's structure is made up of a series of curved concrete walls that intersect at different angles, creating a complex and visually striking composition. One of the most notable features of the Maxi is its roof, which is made up of a series of large curving planes that seem to defy gravity. The roof provides shade and shelter for the museum's outdoor spaces, creating a comfortable and inviting environment for visitors. Additionally, the museum sticks to a simple color scheme of red, black, and white, and gray, which elegantly moves visitors throughout the museum, highlighting pieces in a remarkable manner. Inside, the maxi is equally impressive. The museum is divided into two different sections. One is dedicated to art and the other to architecture and design. The art section contains a variety of contemporary works from both Italian and international artists. While the architecture and design section showcases a range of innovation and experimental products. One of the most unique aspects of the Maxi is the way in which it integrates art and architecture. The building itself is a work of art with its flowing lines and sculptural form while the, art and art, while the art and design expeditions are carefully curated to interact with the space in a meaningful way. In addition to its galleries and expedition spaces, the Maxi also houses a library, a bookstore, a cafe, and a variety of educational facilities. The museum is designed to be a hub of cultural activity, hosting a range of events and programs throughout the year. While the Maxi has seen, received widespread acclaim for its innovative design, it has also faced criticism from some quarters. Some have argued that the museum's complex and unconventional layout can be confusing for visitors, while others have criticized the building's high cost and the challenges of maintaining its unique structure. Despite these challenges, however, the Maxi remains an important and influential example of contemporary architecture. Its fluid lines and sculptural form have inspired a new generation of architects and designers, and its commitment to showcasing the best in contemporary art and design has made it a must-visit destination for visitors in Rome. In conclusion, the Maxi is a stunning example of contemporary architecture and has become an iconic symbol of Rome's cultural and artistic heritage. Its fluid lines and sculptural form are a testament to the innovation and vision of the designer Zaha Hadid and her commitment to showcasing the best in contemporary art and design has made it a vital cultural institution in the city. Whether you are a fan of modern architecture or contemporary art or simply looking for a unique and inspiring cultural experience, the Maxi is a must-see destination that should not be missed. The Macro Museum, also known as Museo d'Arte Contemporanea, was designed by Odile Deck, a French architect and founder of the Paris firm Studio Odile Deck. The Macro Museum is in two locations. Macro Future is located in the former slaughterhouse of Destacchio, while Macro Contemporary Art Museum is located in the former Peroni Brewery in Via Nizia, in close proximity to the Porta Pia. The Peroni Brewery Factory was an industrial complex in Rome that contained three buildings. The brewery was built in 1922, which highlights the industrial Roman architecture of the beginning of the 20th century. The factory was closed in 1971 and was moved outside the city center. In 1983, the municipality of Rome signed a contract with Peroni for the use of the three buildings. In 1989, one of the buildings became the Museum of Contemporary Art. With reconstruction, six rooms were able to open. 
The museum was then officially opened in October 11th of 2002. Part of the reconstruction phase was to preserve the remains of the former brewery and to create the new design in order to open up the museum facing the city, making it visible to the people. When going in the main entrance, you are immediately in the presence of glass of a glass roof with many shapes and reflective structures. However, the historic building of the Peroni factory remains. The entrance is a perfect example of a restoration of a historic building while modernizing. On the inside of the building, there is a big red centerpiece that merges with the other floor. It has many broken lines, but it is almost shaped like a heart. On the terrace of the building, there is a huge open space with artwork that allows you to see the neighboring buildings around the museum. There is a clear contrast between the modern buildings and the old industrial buildings. In 2001, DEC won the international competition for the renovation and redevelopment of the former Peroni factory and the creation of the new seat of the Roman Macro Museum. DEC's architecture philosophy is that a building has to be a place where people can move, live in good conditions, and forget about the hardness of life outside, so it has a humanistic approach. When comparing and contrasting the Maxi and the Museum of Contemporary Art, the Macro, it's important to note that the two contemporary art museums are located in Rome. Both museums were built in the 2000s and were designed by two renowned women architects, Zaha Hadid and Odell de Lec, respectively. While both museums are dedicated to contemporary art, they differ in terms of their design, cost, and spatial organization. The Maxi, designed by Zaha Hadid, is a modern and innovative building located in the Flaminio district of Rome. It is characterized by its fluid and dynamic lines, intersecting curved concrete walls, and gravity-defined roof, making it a visibly striking composition. The Maxi integrates art and architecture with carefully curated expeditions that intersect with the space. The macro has a lower construction cost and a more straightforward design. Despite the difference between the two museums, they both contribute to the contemporary art scene in Rome. The Maxi has received criticism for its complex design and high construction cost, but it remains an important and influential example of contemporary architecture. The museum has hosted numerous exhibitions, events, including retrospectives of artists Similarly, the macro has also established itself as a vital cultural institution in Rome with a diverse program of expeditions and events. The museum has hosted exhibitions of contemporary artists such as Cindy Sherman and Marina Abramovich. In conclusion, while the maxi and the macro differ in terms of their design, cost, and spatial organization, both museums have contributed significantly to the contemporary art scene in Rome. The Maxi's innovative design and integration of art and architecture make it a visually striking and influential cultural institution. While the Macro's traditional museum layout and focus on social interaction and events make it a valuable addition to Rome's cultural landscape.